Okay, so I'm on my way to Dancer Palooza in California, and uh, I'm doing something kind of fun. I'm going to be sleeping in my Prius for the next two days. Wish me luck. So I'm not gonna lie. I've done this before. I've lived the nomad life, I've lived out of this car. Last summer I actually went and uh, toured the United States and I drove the entire thing. I was driving for hundreds of hours, never again. Never freaking again. <laughs> so right now I'm on my way to Dancer Palooza, which is a big dance event in Long Beach. And since it's cheaper for me to work along the way, I will be driving the entire thing from Minnesota to California and I will be sleeping in my car on the way there. I do have an Airbnb when I get there, but I thought this was just going to be cheaper in the long run on my way there. So yeah, the lady next to me thinks I'm crazy talking to a camera, but now I'm ready to get broke. making bad time I'm actually quite impressed so I'm taking a little break and uh, I thought I would show you guys my setup and how uh, I'm going to be living in my Prius for the next two days uh, and then two days at the end of my trip as well so uh, yeah let's go to the back okay so as you can see, um, it's not a lot of space. It, it really isn't a lot of space, but I've got a little bed here with, I've got a, uh, just a thick, um, it's like an outside blanket from my parents' house that they uh, gifted to me back a couple years ago. And uh, I've got a camping mattress. It's very thin, it's just like a foam mattress that fills up with air. And then uh, my rucksack filled with all my clothes and uh, if you guys don't have a rucksack of some sort uh, mine is from REI but it it is just phenomenal it, this is like half my wardrobe in here and it fits everything I haven't had a need to I haven't had a need to do anything as far as a suitcase since I got this so it's absolutely amazing essential for traveling um, I've got my lighting gear I've got my uh, my camera gear, I've got extra gas can that I need to fill. <laughs> and then uh, obviously got some miscellaneous, my tripods, my uh, stands for lights and stuff underneath. Okay, so you can curl up pretty comfortably in the back here. And I just kind of roll up the back of the blanket and it's not too shabby. I, uh, I can sleep pretty comfortably, stretch out my legs, not too bad for a Prius. Since I am on a little break here, I might as well talk to you guys a little bit about uh, what I do for shower and things like that so um essentially it's actually easier people always worry about like bathrooms toiletries um where do you you know go shower and things like that so uh last year as i mentioned i did a little nationwide tour um it, in this prius and i uh for a lot of it stayed in the back of this prius and um ended up sleeping here and did, did a lot of traveling with this. So um, what I did was I purchased a gym membership with Planet Fitness, uh, which was, I think it was around $20 a month. It's not, it's not a big cost. Um, and I just worked out and showered there. You can go in there, you can change your clothes, you can 
uh, they, they have a, a good gym facility uh, that I could use uh, while I was traveling, which was good. Mm. Uh, also, uh, some uh, truck stops, as long as you have shower shoes, um, some truck stops have um, washing facilities and showers and things like that. So you can use you can use things like that. Uh, obviously, obviously, that's nasty if you do it without. It's nasty if you do it without shower shoes. But as long as you're careful and cleanly, you're fine. And now the 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 tricky part that I found was finding parking. Uh, so you can't just park anywhere. You can't just take your your vehicle and sleep in the back of your vehicle just anywhere. Um, I've had cops knock on the back of the Prius before. I've had them uh, come and talk to me, or I, I've had them wake me up in the middle of the night and ask me to leave. It's usually fine. They don't give you a ticket usually. Uh, they will uh, just ask you to leave politely and you just go. So for the most part, Walmart parking lots are 24 hour. If you can find a 24 hour Walmart parking lot, they are pretty friendly towards the camping communities or the, the van life communities. There's a huge trend of people living in vans or living in school buses or living in campers. There's a, they, people will just literally abandon their homes and go live in these places. So it's actually kind of cool because you've got all these communities of people that are doing the same thing as you and you're, you're all traveling and you're all working on the road and just you get to meet a whole ton of people um, obviously you want to be careful and as long as you're careful about the area you're fine the other place that <laughs> I <laughs> I have slept I have slept in my car in a 24-hour parking garage before I don't recommend that one they have security cameras they will probably I mean they they probably could send you a ticket or fine you or things like that if they found out that you were doing it but i don't recommend it i have done it uh but like 24-hour parking lots uh campsites are are wonderful and they're kind of cheap um so you you can do that or alternatively if you're you know if you got a friend or something like that that you know maybe they don't have you know don't have room or something like that maybe they'll let you park in your their driveway or something like that i don't know so generally speaking, pretty easy to find a place to stay, not too bad. You just have to be willing to put in the work. You just have to be willing to put in the work. So uh, one more question that I get asked a lot is how do I protect my gear? How do I, you know, uh, when I'm not in the car, how do I protect my gear when I'm, you know, traveling and all that stuff? So uh, for the most part, uh, I will cover it up. I mean, as you can see, this is, I mean, it's not that much. It's not that much gear. I had more last summer, but it's not that much gear. So, uh, cover it up. You want to cover up your stuff. And another thing that you can do, if you have flip down seats like mine, there are rings that are attached to the actual car. I've got tie down rings down here, but this is attached to the frame of the car and can't be accessed unless you pull out this panel. So. I've got, uh, you know, locks and stuff that can, uh, I've, I've got locks that can hold down my, my equipment and lock up my equipment when I don't need it. Or if I need to leave something in the car, I can do so safely. And um, obviously it's still covered up, nobody's gonna see it, but at the same time, I don't want people who have broken in or broken because they're curious about the lumps on my floor to have easy access to my equipment. So, you know, I lock the bags, lock the bags, and then lock the bags to the car, which is pretty awesome. Not too bad, not too shabby. So I actually really like driving. Um, it gives me, I'm an, intro, I'm an introvert. So it gives me a chance to be alone. It gives me a chance to listen to audiobooks. Um, it gives me a chance to like get away from the world. And I love it. I personally love it. I. I work at two different studios that are an hour away from each other and I dance at a studio that's an hour away from where I live. So in total, I end up driving around three hours a day and it it gets tedious, it does. It gets very tedious. However, I found ways to stay awake if I'm tired and so I'm lucky, it gives, it gives me a chance to mellow out every day. 
I get a chance to just be by myself and calm down and really think about things. I actually come up, I, I actually come up with a lot of video and like photo ideas in my car when I'm driving. I'm constantly listening to music or I'll be choreographing in my mind while I'm listening to music. It is a wonderful way to pass the time. So another thing that I get asked quite frequently is how to stay awake while driving because if you're driving so much, you do get tired. You will encounter a time when you're driving tired. Um, I actually have two methods that I found that really work for me. I like to chew gum or I will eat sunflower seeds. Now, the reason that I do this, it sounds super silly and you would think like, it's totally not gonna work. Like, you, you think I'm dumb in saying it, but giving your mouth something to do while you're driving or while you're doing a task that is monotonous and boring actually keeps you more awake. It keeps you alert and you have to think about something. I don't know why, it really actually works for me. I've, um, I've been on a ton of road trips. I go back and forth from Colorado, back and forth from you know, Arizona, California, New York, Florida. Obviously I did the tour. So I've, I've found that that method works best for me. It works really, really well. And give it a try. Tell me, uh, tell me in the comments below if you actually, if you, if you, next time you're tired driving, try one of these things and tell me in the comments below if it works. I wanna know if it works for you. All right, so I'm gonna get back on the road. Here we go. Okay, the lighting is horrible here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> I made it through uh, midway through Nebraska, but uh, I'm getting tired, so I'm stopped at a rest stop here, um, and uh, I'm gonna get a few hours of sleep before I keep on heading out to Colorado. So something I forgot to mention earlier is why am I driving to California instead of flying there? Um, I honestly, I just prefer driving. I get to be alone, I don't have to go through the airport. I, I don't mind the airport so much, but it's it's more so the the sitting on a cramped plane, that kind of stuff. It just bothers me, I don't, I don't know why. Plus, on my way to the location where I'm going to be shooting, I can do more work, I can get things done, I can actually, uh, I could schedule another shoot with somebody on the way, or I can, I can sit down and edit while I am, uh, while I'm, you know, sitting at a rest stop or stuff like that. I feel very cramped on a plane, I can't edit on a plane, it's just, it's a, it's annoying. So I, I end up driving a lot of places, which is why I ended up doing this whole trip. Anyways, I'm going to get a couple hours of sleep, but uh, I've got more videos coming. I've got some dance videos, uh, choreography videos, some fun vlogs and things coming. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and drop a comment below if you have any questions. I'm, I'll be answering questions back as much as I possibly can. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Chris Moore Photos. And stay tuned for the amazing videos to come. Good night.